people welcome back to my channel i go by the name of lima hotzi and on the second part of the video i'll be talking about all things investments so it's all about a beginner's guide to investing so make sure that you like comment and subscribe to my channel so speaking on today's conversation i'll be touching up on what is a stock how stocks make money and later on in the last part of the video, I'll be speaking on how I invest as an individual. Moving into our conversation for the day, I'd like to touch up on what a stock is. So I'm not going to give you a textbook definition of what a stock is. I'm not going to give you a technical description or definition of what a stock is. But I'll basically explain it in day-to-day -day terms. So for example, let's say you own a speaker company, right? And you only have a thousand rand which has helped you produce let's say 10 of these speakers in order for your company to grow to scale up so that you can cover up staff cost operational cost and also marketing cost you will need shareholders to invest into your company so let's say i start the company with a thousand rand and i need ten thousand rand to take start my company I will go around and seek nine shareholders or investors to invest in my company. So each individual will be contributing a thousand, which will add up to ten thousand. And once they invest into the company, we call them shareholders. That means that they own an equity portion of the company. It means that once that ten thousand is obtained, that will help me scale up operations. And there's always a catch to this because as a person that has invested into your company, each and every individual that is invested owns 10% of the company. So that means that you don't own majority of your shares. But as a business owner, you don't mind owning only 10% equity within your own business because you know that with the money invested by the shareholders, this will help scale up your business to become a company that is worth more than a hundred thousand or even a million depending companies such as capitec mcdonald's tesla and apple need to make billions of dollars so they offer shares to the public and this is known as an ipo which is an initial public offering basically in simple terms you are giving the company a certain portion of your money to buy a small piece of the big company and certain companies listed on the GSC can go for as little as a rand and some go for over a thousand rand per stock. You may be wondering why you should buy a small portion of a company and is there ways to make money out of it? And the simple answer to the question is yes. And that will bring us to topic number two. Talking on topic number two, which is how to make money out of stocks. There are two ways of making money out of stocks. The first one being capital gains and the second being dividends. So speaking on capital gains, it's basically buying a stock at a low price and selling it at a high price. So the profits that you make out of that are called capital gains. So as an investor, if you'd like to make money out of capital gains, just make sure that you buy a stock at a low price and sell at a high price. So moving into the second best option of investing in stocks and what you can get out of it is through dividends. So investing in stocks that make dividends is a good way of making passive income. You need to be aware as a beginner investor that not all stocks are dividend paying stocks, which makes me go to point number three, which is types of stocks. 